Hi guys, I uh, hope everyone's uh, doing well <coughs> and everyone's good. Um, this is a haul video for the um, October the 23rd today, I think, um, on Sunday. Um, so it's a car boot haul. Um, I, I may as well um, say now, um, there's going to be a video coming up, which is basically my uh, sort of um, epic uh, auction haul that I've got, and it's it's going to be uh, pretty <laughs> pretty amazing. I spent um, at the at the auctions um, this over this weekend. I spent two hundred and seventy pounds in total. Um, I've probably got over a hundred games, video games. Um, probably getting towards the 150 maybe 200 i reckon in terms of quantity um and then i've probably got about four consoles maybe five consoles i think i've got one psp and two uh no yeah i've got two ps1s a ps2 a ps3 i think but I, I i need to um basically i need to go and collect um the stuff which i've won on the monday and then i'll uh um i'll be doing i'll be doing it throughout the week um it'll probably be split into parts because there's going to be so much to actually show you um so that's going to take a little while um hopefully if i just release every part as i go along that's probably going to be the easiest way um it's basically four lots but all all together it was up to, it, i spent no was it yeah it's four lots and, and i spent 270 all together but I'll, I'll go through it on the separate video but this is the haul for today uh, i think i spent about 40 pounds today which considering this was basically the last car boot um uh that that for, for this season that um that that car boot was on basically because uh the car boot that i basically my local car boot is uh, well, they are either going to finish this week or they're going to finish next week. I think they're going to depend. It depends on the weather, basically. They might do one more next week, but um, I can't see too much of a turnout there. But to be fair, the turnout was pretty good today, and so that that did help. Um, and I've got basically, let me just to show you there, to there. I've actually got a fair amount, to be fair, uh, for the four, for, certainly for the forty pounds worth of stuff. I've got. I've got a lot really for only spending forty pounds. So um, first main part I'll show you here, and then I'll have to move it so I can show you the rest. Uh, this is a twenty pound job lot, um, a PS2 uh, fat console, the, the, the original basically. It's got two DualShock 2 silver controllers, so the official Sony ones, um, and then it's got all these games. Um, basically, I'll pick out this lot here, which is what I would say is the the good games, I don't know where I'm going to put that, okay I'm just going to put it here for now um, this Metro Pullers Mania Me Metropol Me yeah, Metropolis Mania um, that's actually about a £10 game I've seen, well at least on Amazon it's listed at £10 um, on eBay I don't know, I've not looked on the eBay price but yeah so yeah, it's one to look out for there um, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, um, I used to get 15 for that, but it might have changed now the price, so we'll see. Um, and then uh, Lego Star Wars 1 and 2, um, and then the Star Wars Starfighter, Bounty Hunter and Jedi Starfighter. So those five together I'll probably put for 15, and um, we'll see what happens. So basically my returns I reckon is probably about 15 there. Um, Battlefront 1 and 2, I reckon I can get at least 10 for, maybe 12. I mean, I, I used to get 15, but I don't think I can get that anymore. And then this this game here, I'll just show you the cover. I think that's probably about a tenner, but I'll have to check on eBay just to make sure. So, um, and then console, I've got a black controller. I've got one black controller spare, so I'm going to put that one with it, which is an official DualShock 2. And in fact, it's actually here, just there. So, uh but I brought that one separately for two pound fifty. So I've so in fact I'm twenty two pound fifty into the bundle, if you will. Uh, but the two dual shot two silvers, because they're both silver, um, I could probably ask a little bit more for them. I'll probably try and bundle the two of them together for about twenty five pounds. Um, and I can, I'll come I'll come down if I need to. But certainly twenty pounds I can get for sure. Um, because they should, both of them should be worth a tenner each, and then if I bundle them together, I'll save on the postage. So, 
that's my plan. Um, so, uh, and the, sorry about the console, I don't know if I did, but the console with the black uh, controller and the, the original sort of PS2 um, should get £30 quite easily for that. Uh, it's got its like cables and what have you as well with it, so that's great. Um, and I might just chuck in a couple of the more crappy games, basically. There's about 30 games in total, so it's not too bad. Um, there's enough there for £20, so I'll stop the video here, and then I'll uh, get on to the rest of the stuff. Okay, on to the uh, main sort of uh, part of the hall now. Uh, I just had to move that out of the way so I could get some more space. Um, Obviously, <laughs> like every reseller, I'm kind of limited on space, but there's just something you've just got to work through. Uh, this Nerf electric scoreboard with sound. I don't know if it's all there. I've just literally picked up the box and said, I'll give you a pound, and the lady said yes. So um, I'll have to have a look at that. I don't even know. I've not even researched it, I'll be honest with you. I would like to think that's at least a £10 sort of thing there, if it's all there, but we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I paid a pound. Um uh, this Disney scene, it's like the uh, steel tin sort of thing, uh, like deluxe. Um, I've sold that for £12 before and I paid a pound for it, so pretty confident I'll get that back. Um, this is just um, basically uh, printer paper because I just ran out of printer paper, so um, just get another realm or, or ream or whatever you call it um, 500 sheets, and I paid £2 for that, so yeah, not too bad. Um, uh, a little bit of media, there wasn't really much media today, but um, apart from obviously the PS2 which I had, but um, I'm not really counting that as media. Lego Harry Potter years 1 and one to 4 on the Wii, I should get 5 for that easy, and I pay 50p for that. And Siphon Filter, the Amiga Strain, um, oh, I think that's how you say it. Um, I mean I paid 50p, I don't really think that's actually worth anything, but I'll try and get about 4 for that. Um, or I'll just bond with it, whatever. Um, it's a Zomba Fitness. It's got the, you know, it's got the fitness. It's got the uh, things that I could probably do with that myself, to be honest. But <laughs> yeah, could probably do a little bit of a workout. But um, but my excuse is I get a workout of the car boot. So hey. <laughs> um, anyway, I should. Um, I've sold this before for about 15 or somewhere around that mark so i'm pretty confident i can get at least 15 for it. i might even push to 18 or something um it's all the dvds and everything with it so not too bad um and so, so basically today was a little i'll leave that open a little bit actually um yeah um today was a little bit of an experiment day basically um i've kind of thought a little bit out a little bit out of the box well, not not like wildly i still kind of kept to my usual but um this is basically something a bit different this is um basically an ide hard drive um it's 20 gigabytes and the other one is 20 gigabytes as well and i paid a pound for the two now i don't really know i mean i, I know about computer components because i've built computers before um from scratch so i obviously know what it is and you know but, and what have you I, I know that 20 gigabyte is very very small obviously um, compared to you know like terabyte and what have you nowadays that you have. I think I think I think it's like well the you know like two two terabyte four terabyte and all that sort of stuff is the where the uh, where the bigger money is um, in terms of hard drives um, uh, if I can get ten pound for the two I'll be more than happy um, blank video tapes says three ninety nine there but don't worry about that I paid two pounds um, it is sealed but the seal has broken a little bit here although I'm pretty yeah I'm pretty sure yeah all, all the other all the actual individual tapes which because there's five of them in the pack are actually sealed and I've sold that before for ten pounds including postage so for two pounds it's not there's not much money in it but uh it's one of those tick over items I'm, I'm pretty sh confident I'll get ten pounds for that um these two were a little bit more of a fail but again a bit more experiment Wizard of Oz and Jungle Book they just look really good quality hardback books to me Although on Amazon they're only going for 280, which is you know just ridiculous when you think about it. I mean they're quality books, quality uh, titles as well. Wizard of Oz, obviously massive, and Jungle Book is you know you don't get much bigger than that in terms of titles, do you? So I, mean, I thought I wasn't. I thought for a pound I couldn't lose with them two. Paid a pound for the two, so I don't know. Maybe if I can get eight pounds 
free delivery for the two. I'll, I'll you know just get something back basically. But yeah, a bit of a fail on those. I wouldn't I wouldn't pick those up again. Um, free Harry Potter and hardbacks, definitely Hallows, Half Blood Prince and Goblet of Fire. Uh, two of them are first editions, one of them isn't. Um, I paid £2 for the free. Um, yeah, I don't really know on, on my Harry Potter hardbacks. Um, I'm not great on them. Um, I'm going to have to research the prices. I, I think I think it's somewhere between sort of 7 and £8 pounds a hardback or something, somewhere around that sort of area that you're going to get back. But, it, you know, I'll probably just try and bundle it for around the £25 mark and just see what happens. That's probably what I'll do. I mean, I could maybe try and get the other three or is it four now? I don't, really, I don't even know. But, um, yeah, I, I might try and get the others. But I, I hate doing the thing where you kind of, you know, don't list something and hold it back in case you find stuff. I don't like doing that, really. I'd rather just list it as it is. And if I find more, then I'll take the listing down and you know put and put the extra in um put the extra books in that way rather than have something sitting around all the time which you haven't listed but that's just my opinion um onto a nerf so we're a bit, bit more back into comfort zone territory um uh, a hail fire nerf uh, it's got the f it's got four magazines although there's room for a, i think another four there um i haven't really tested it or anything but wooden said it works and should probably be fine, I don't see why not. Um, so I don't know if you need more of those magazines or not. And I'm not really sure if I should maybe try and take the magazines out and sell them separately. That might be an idea. Um, but I'm pretty confident I could get at least £30 for this. Um, I haven't checked the prices, but these sort of bigger Nerf guns you know, do command quite a fair bit. And it is quite a, a big-ish Nerf gun. It's not one of the bigger ones, but it's a fair size. Um, and then something... Well, I wouldn't say totally out of my comfort zone, but just something a bit different. If I can just get a bit of space here. Um, this. Uh, there we go. This Samson. It's not in very good condition, but it's a Samson N130. If you can see that, yeah. Um, it's it's a netbook basically. Um, it comes with its charger just there. Um, condition, sorry about that. Condition, condition is pretty bad. I'll be honest. Um, the keyboard obviously needs a good clean, and uh, you know, just give a wipe over on the screen, what have you. And obviously, this bit of the bit on the front here is not great. Um, and obviously, on the back is not brilliant either. But uh, for a fiver, it's not too bad. Um, I was looking on the uh, on on eBay. Um, probably, if it was in better condition, thirty pounds easy, um, second hand. Uh, but I'll probably go for the twenty five pound mark. But even if I have to get twenty for it, I'll be more than happy for a five pound investment. So, you know, it's something a bit different. Um, a bit a bit. Well, I wouldn't say out my comfort zone because I'm still kind of a bit of a techie anyway. So, it's kind of. It's still kind of within my comfort zone, but it's just something I just haven't really sold too much of before. So it's you know just kind of breaking the barriers down into into different into different niches really, which I think is overall a better thing. Um, so yeah, uh, subscribe if you can to my channel um, if you would like to. Obviously, I, I would I would like it if you did. <laughs> um, if if you um, if you want to see this auction hall basically. It's going to be pretty epic, and uh, I reckon probably in total it's going to take. Well, it's, it could probably it could take me a few days, or um, sorry, um, it could take me a few days um, to actually film, and then it's probably going to be about 60 minutes in total. But I'll, like I say, I'll probably part it out. But I don't know. I, it depends. I might be able to go through it quicker. What I want to do as well with the auction is actually write everything down into a spreadsheet and work out exactly how much that I'll make. Um, potentially if I sell everything at the price I want and then that will kind of give you an idea of my 200 I think it was 70 pounds of investment of how, how much I could actually potentially I mean I haven't looked through it exactly in terms of everything because basically these are all basically these are job lots um which are basically they put loads and loads of games in a bag and then they basically say you bid what you want <laughs> and then you just basically highest bid of wins and you get it and then uh 
you can't really tell exactly what's there. The only thing I could tell is that in a couple of the bags there were some absolute gems in terms of games. I mean, you know, we're talking we're talking Pokemon uh, Red on the GB, G, um, Game Boy. Um, we're talking um, there was there was Crash Bash um, on the PS One. There was Super Mario N64 boxed. I mean, there was some absolute, uh, you know, home scores in terms of that. Uh, there was Pokemon, is it Alpha Sapphire on the 3DS, um, and also, no, not Alpha Sapphire, no, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y on the 3DS as well there was. So those those are good games as well. Um, there's a lot, quite a lot of Pokemon, actually. Um, I think there was also Diamond as well, which on the DS. Um, but yeah, it, I'll, I'll show you on the video when, when I eventually get around to doing it um like i say i have to pick up the stuff on monday and um yeah it should, it should be a good one so really do subscribe because you know you don't want to miss that one i don't think um uh, you know this this potentially could be a game changer in terms of my business this could this could be uh this could be the the hall that changes from you know so from, from some from something decent into something like really good you know i i reckon this could be um this could propel me forward in, in my business and I'm really quite excited about it so yeah um, if you like this video give me a like um, comment if you've got any uh, ideas or suggestions or what have you and um, I'll see you on the next video um, bye guys